La vie et l'amour sont plus fortes. Life and love are stronger than death. If we're here this morning, it is to hope against any despair. It is to shout that nothing will ever replace the death of a man who gave his life to save others. Man can destroy man, but he cannot destroy life. This is the message that Jesus Christ left us. Life is God's gift. And if man can remove it, it cannot destroy it. Life belongs to God and returns to God. In these sacred places where so many men gave their lives so that others could live in freedom, we commit ourselves to working tirelessly for peace between people and between us. Now let us pray together, each in our own language, the words of our Father. Notre Père, qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour. Pardonne-nous nos offenses comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous laisse pas entrer en tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal. Amen. Laissons retentir en nos cœurs les mots de la prière du souvenir. Au oh Dieu notre Père, Let's raise our hearts to these words of the prayer of remembrance. O oh God, our Father, we thank you for those valiant hearts who are at the call, at the call of the sovereign and country laid their lives in the cause of freedom. We pray that you may uphold the torch entrusted to us so that their sacrifice may not be in vain. Unite all the peace-loving people in our world in one holy purpose to defend the principles of freedom and brotherhood for which these valiant hearts lived and died. Let there be peace on earth. Let it begin with me. In the name of the great Prince of Peace, we pray. Amen. Que la paix soit dans tous les cœurs, à commencer par le mien. Et nous prions au nom du Prince de la paix. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Allocution de Sir Alexandre Berti, maire de Saint-Aubin. Monsieur le député, Monsieur le président de Nacre, Messieurs les élus, Mesdames, Messieurs, c'est la première prise de parole du nouveau mandat. C'est pour moi aujourd'hui un symbole fort et chargé d'émotion. Cette mission du devoir de mémoire est une responsabilité commune de génération en génération, un rempart contre l'oubli. Il y a 76 ans, à 7h30, les soldats du North Shore, appuyés par les blindés et l'artillerie canadienne, débarquèrent sur notre plage, ouvrant la voie aux hommes du 48e commando de Marines, du Royal Marines. Ils venaient libérer saint aubin la France, l'Europe, de l'emprise nazie. Ce jour-là, 46 Anglais, 60 Canadiens tombèrent sous les balles ennemies. 20 habitants de saint aubin trouvèrent également la mort au combat. Il est impossible d'oublier ces sacrifices. Cette année est particulière. La situation sanitaire ne permet pas à nos amis anglais, canadiens et allemands d'être présents parmi nous. Le monde a besoin de paix pour ses habitants qu puissent, pour qu'ils puissent s'épanouir dans un monde de liberté, d'égalité et de fraternité. Je vous remercie. I will shortly summarize the speech of our new mayor. He insisted that this uh, was a very important occasion for him, his first time um, speaking out in public, and what an important message. Um, there's a duty to remember here for us in France that 76 years ago at 7.30 a.m., the North Shore soldiers with um, the tanks, the, um, the artillery from um, Canada, opened their way to the men of the 40th Royal Marine Commando to help bring freedom to Saint-Aubin, France, and Europe from the Nazi Empire. That day, 46 English soldiers and 60 Canadian soldiers fell on their own fire. 21 inhabitants from Saint-Aubin also died in, in the weeks um, around D-Day. That was the price of peace returned to us. And this is why it's so important that we say their names every year. 
L'appel des morts traditionnel que nous lisons chaque 6 juin a été enregistré par nos amis anglais et canadiens. Donc écoutez la liste des hommes tombés le 6 et 7 juin 44, enregistré donc par nos amis. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Ray Dufour, commanding officer of the North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. Mesdames et messieurs, bon après-midi. Je suis le Lieutenant Colonel Renal Dufour, commandant du North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. I'm currently standing here in Coronation Park, East Bathurst, in front of the North Shore New Brunswick Regiment Memorial. Donc, je me situe présentement au milieu du parc Coronation à Bathurst S, devant le Memorial du North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. This memorial honors the 380 soldiers of the North Shore Regiment who fell during the Second World War. Le memorial que vous voyez en arrière-plan honore les soldats du North Shore Regiment, les 380 qui sont morts lors de la Deuxième Guerre mondiale. Of those, 35 lost their life on D-Day, 6 of June 1944. De ce nombre, 35 personnes ont perdu la vie au jour J, le 6 juin 1944. In 2019, we marked the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landing And we also had a special ceremony here in Bathurst on the 19th of May to also receive our new unit colors. Donc, en 2019, nous avons souligné le 75e anniversaire du débarquement de Normandie au centre régional Casey Irving le 19 May, recevant également nos nouveaux drapeaux consacrés. Very shortly thereafter, we went overseas and partook in Normandy ceremonies, which is associated to the North Shore Regiment. Peu de temps après, nous sommes allés en Normandie pour prendre part aux cérémonies qui s'y étaient importantes pour le North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. So we started à Saint-Aubin-sur-Mer on the beaches with ceremony in the morning. We followed that up in the afternoon with a visit to Tyville and the ceremony. And then we ended up the day with a ceremony out of Kerpiquet. Donc, le 6 juin 2019, nous avons commencé avec une cérémonie sur les plages de Saint-Aubin-sur-Mer. Nous avons suivi avec une autre cérémonie en après-midi à Taïville et finalement, nous avons conclu la journée avec une autre cérémonie à Carpiquet. 2020 is a lot different as a result of COVID-19. Donc, 2020 est très différent étant donné la COVID-19, ce qui nous a forcé à changer beaucoup de nos plans. So, upon the invitation of Saint-Aubin-sur-Mer, who uh, invited us to partake in their virtual ceremonies, We're here today. Donc, suite à l'invitation que nous avons reçue de Saint-Aubin-sur-Mer de prendre part à la cérémonie virtuelle d'aujourd'hui, nous sommes ici. So, en closing, I want to thank you very much for supporting the regiment. En terminant, um, je veux vous remercier au nom de tous les membres du régiment pour nous supporter et nous appuyer comme vous le faites. What I'd like to do now is to do to go to the honor roll of the soldiers of Las who lost their life on D-Day. Ce que je voudrais faire maintenant, c'est passer au travers de la liste nominative des soldats du régiment qui ont perdu la vie le 6 juin 1944. Roger Ashford, Jean Auriat, Alfred Blanchard, Claude Brentsfield, Rupert Clancy, Mearns Claston, Victor Crabb, Harold Daly, Aldi Doucet, Bruce Elliott, Gordon Ellis, Norman Forker, Clyde Gallen, Antoine Gionnet, Bernard Haché, Lionel Haché, Andrew Irvine, Emerson James, Earl Kingston, Levi Landry, Harold Lewis, Archie McNaughton, James Rath Main, John Thomas Malaley, Youth McCormack, George McLeod, Earl Palmer, Randolph Petrie, Edward Wrigley, Joseph 
Roy, Albert Savoy, Arthur Strang, John Walker, Joseph Walsh, Lambert Wiggins. Lest we forget, lest we forget, we will remember them. Ne les oublions pas, nous nous souviendrons d'eux. Bonjour, I am Lieutenant Colonel Dave Colton, Commanding Officer of the Fort Garry Horse, and bring greetings from the Fort Garry Horse and heartfelt thanks to the people of saint abon sur mer and all the other communities along Nan Red Beach for arranging this virtual commemoration of the 76th anniversary of the D-Day landings. D-Day was the beginning of the crusade to eliminate Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe. We must not forget the sacrifice of those soldiers, sailors, and airmen on that day. And this commemoration helps to preserve their memory. During D-Day, the Fort Garry Horse had 12 wounded and 14 soldiers that gave the supreme sacrifice that others may live free. The 14 soldiers that gave that last full measure of devotion to their fellows were Trooper George Brissett, Lieutenant Norman Brown, Trooper Frank Gordon, Trooper Donald Hilliard, Trooper Stefan Holdstock, Trooper Arthur McCaffrey, Trooper Donald McLeod, Sergeant Mervyn Murphy, Sergeant Percy Parks, Trooper Elvin Reeves, Lance Corporal Elvin Rustad, Trooper Metro Scrachuk, and Lance Corporal Robert Stevenson. We will remember them. Merci. Good morning. My name is Gary Sulliker. I'm a retired officer of the Canadian Military Engineers. I've been asked to say a few words about the sappers and gunners from Canada who died in Sector Nan Red of Juno Beach on D-Day. I'm speaking to you from the back deck of my home here in Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia. And I'm happy to speak about the gunners and the sappers. The gunners and the sappers, the Royal Canadian Engineers and the Royal Canadian Artillery, traditionally have been seen as sister units as they, say, as they share the same motto of everywhere, which is on our hat badge as Ubique. I've walked Nan Red Sector four times since 2005 and I try to visualize what happened that day. I doubt very much that my imagination even comes close to the horror. The Sappers of Five Field Company, Royal Canadian Engineers, came ashore that morning at 8 o'clock in three landing craft. As the ramps went down and they readied their dozers to roll off, they came under immediate small arms fire. The gunners of 19th Field Regiment, Royal Canadian Artillery, were firing their self-propelled guns from the decks of their landing craft as they rolled towards the beach, thereby becoming the first Canadian artillery unit to fire upon Juneau Beach. The war dead are Five Field Company, Royal Canadian Engineers, Sapper Harold Nelson Cowan, Sergeant John Percival Downing, Corporal Alwyn Kenneth Ross, Lieutenant Donald Stocker, Sapper Howard Stollard, Sapper Arthur D. Schweitzer, 19th Regiment Royal Canadian Artillery, Sergeant Murray Oliver Kirby, Gunner Bernard Thomas McEwen, Gunner Harvey Lloyd Walker, lest we forget, Je me souviens, Yubique. This is the role of honor of the officers and men of 4 8 Royal Marine Commando killed in Saint Aubin sur Mer and Lungrin sur Mer on the 6th of June 1944, D Day, and the following day. Voici la liste d'honneur des officiers et fusiliers marines du 48e Royal Marine Commando tombé le 6 juin 1944, le jour est J et le jour suivant à Saint Aubin sur Mer et à Lungrin sur Mer. Sergeant Amato, 25. Corporal Appriard, 21, Sergeant Bishop, 21, Marine Boardman, Van Wiet, Marine Botley, Van Wiet, Marine Bourne, 19, 
Sergeant Kappelman, Vancis, Marine Connor, Van Der, Marine Connor, Van Tien, Marine Corson, Vancis, Sergeant Coulter, Trente Ian, Lieutenant Curtis, Van Cap, Marine Dewhurst, Dizenef, Marine Edwards, Van Tien, Marine Faraday, Van, Marine Ford, Van Der, Marine Fox, Van Wheat, Marine Gosling, Van Der, Marine Hall, Van Tien, Marine Headley, Van Tien, Corporal Hilton, Van Cease, Marine Humphreys, Van Cease, Sergeant Jehu, Van Cap, Marine Johnson, Van Trois, Lance Corporal Larkin, Van Der, Captain Leonard, Van Trois, Marine McCain, Dizneuf, Marine McLaughlin, Van Tien, Corporal Moss, Van Sank, Corporal O'Boyle, Van Der, Captain Perry, Van Der, Marine Pauli, Dizneuf, Corporal Paul, Van Cease, Marine Richardson, Dizneuf, Lieutenant Rigby, Van Cease, Marine Rule, Van Trois, Corporal Simpson, Van Cease, Marine Simpson, Van Der, Marine Spruce, Dizneuf, Marine Stanley, Dizneuf, Marine Stevens, Van Tien, Sergeant Stevenson, Van Trois, Marine Sturmey, Van Tien, Corporal Tavalier, Van Cease, Corporal Upton, Van Neuf, Marine Wardle, Van, Marine Williams, Dizneuf, Corporal Wise, Van, Lieutenant Yates, Corporal Wilkinson, 24 Royal Army Medical Corps, attached to 48 Royal Marine Commando. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Ils ne vont pas veiller comme nous qui sommes laissés à allons veiller. L'âge ne les fatiguera pas, ni les hommes les condamnent. Au coucher du soleil et à l'aube du jour, nous nous souviendrons d'eux. Les élus ont maintenant procédé au dépôt des gerbes à la mer.